Hi, my name is Lily. Let me share the latest secure transport features and improvements with you. This secure transport update does not impact current configurations. You can apply it on top of any of the past 12 updates. If you're installing secure transport for the first time, check out our release notes or installation guide for detailed instructions. This month, we updated several third-party components that were reported in the National Vulnerability Database, including PostgreSQL, Query String, Validation API, and the Code URI component. Refer to our third-party software and licenses document for the complete list. With this update, you can now connect to Azure Database for PostgreSQL Flexible Server. New installations can be directly configured to use Azure Database for PostgreSQL. And for updated instances, two migration scenarios are supported. 1. Migrating from an on-premises Microsoft SQL Server instance to an on-premises PostgreSQL instance. And 2. Migrating from an SQL Server on Azure VMs to Azure Database for PostgreSQL. With this update, we introduce new settings in the Advanced Routing Steps configuration that allow conditional step execution based on an evaluated condition. When ALWAYS is selected, the step is executed on every occasion. And when EXPRESSION LANGUAGE is selected, the step is executed only when the condition, based on the expression, is met. Advanced routing routes can now be stopped after a particular route step's successful execution. If Proceed with route execution on step success is selected, route execution continues if the step execution is successful. This checkbox is selected by default. If not selected, the processing stops after the last successful file transformation or file transfer, and route execution also stops. A new feature automates the process of adding and updating IP addresses for a network zone node. When dynamic node IP address discovery is enabled, Secure Transport performs regular DNS queries against a configured FQDN to find out and dynamically update the network zone node's IP addresses. Note that this feature is still in beta and must not be used in production environments. Thanks for watching! Apply this update using the links in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe! See you next time!